Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan. Our cameraman here is Henry. Today we're going to show you the Surveyor 251 RKS. This has the rear kitchen in the back, bedroom in the front, just a nice overall good floor plan that we do very well with. Um, today we're going to get started up front. This does come with your power tongue jack. It does have your LED light here on the front. And then behind that is a dual 20 pound LP tank. This does come with your hard case cover with your easy access lid here at the top. Behind that you see our two bars. This, uh, this one's already prepped ready to go so you can see this is where you would mount your uh, battery and box um, or you can bring your own. Uh, on the front we do have your gel coated fiberglass molded front cap. It has your integrated lights here on the front. And then you have your diamond plate rock guard here at the bottom. As we move around to this side, we have what they call a portable solar panel port. So if you do any dry camping, you can put up to two batteries on the front, plug in a portable solar panel to maintain those, and you should be good to go on the dry camping side of things. Here is a pass-through front storage compartment. This goes all the way through to the other side. You can access each side. And it does have what a uh, magnetic catch right here. So you have a steel plate here with a magnet which holds your door for you. Do have your manual stabilizer jacks at the four corners. And this does have two entrance doors. So you have one in the bedroom area and then one in the back for your living area. You do have your uh, power awning and it does have your LED strip light in the tube of the awning. This also has an adjustment right here so you can adjust the pitch of the awning so the rain can, uh, you can pitch the rain off the back or the front. So you have that adjustment uh, both ends. So we move on back, you do have your black tank flush here so after you drain your black tank you can connect the water hose to this. There's a sprayer in the tank that rinses that out if you'd like to do that. You do have your outside TV uh, entertainment center. You have your speakers up here with your amber porch light in the center. Your TV bracket here. Uh, this would be compatible to the one on the inside so if you'd like to take the TV from the inside clip it on out here you can do that. Then you have your connections right down below here. This does come with your uh, radial tires and your aluminum rims. You can remove the center cap right here and there's a grease dirt right there. So you do have the easy lube axles along with your self adjusting brakes. Right here is your uh, what they call a stable step. This is a rock solid step. You don't have a step hanging out there in midair. This is very nice. It's got tons of good feedback on it. Very easy to set up and take down. Uh, you basically open the door. You just pick it up, there's a, a little latch on each side that you latch in, you close the door and you're ready to go. And you also have an adjustment right here on each side so you can adjust the legs to the contour of the ground. This is what they call a friction hinge door, you'll notice there's not a latch there. So this is to withstand 20 mile an hour winds. So that part of it is nice. You do have your fold assist grab handle at the entry door as well. And you do, you do have a uh, light right here to light up the steps in the dark. Moving around to the back, not a whole lot back here. You have your 4x4 tube bumper here in the back. This is where you would store your sewer hose in. Have your spare tire already mounted for you here on the back. And then at the top above the clearance lights you'll see an extra mounting bracket. That is for a backup camera so it is prepped and ready. If you would like to add that, uh, that would be an additional uh, cost for that. Moving around to the driver's side, we have your 30 amp connection right here. It does come with a 30 amp detachable cord. So you do have a separate cord that you can plug into that and uh, you're not taking a cord out and shoving it back in taking away from the storage on the inside. You do have a six gallon gas electric uh, water heater that's DSI direct spark ignition and you can heat up to 10 gallons of water with gas or electric and you can heat up to 16 gallons of water with a combination of both. 
you come down here and look on the lower left hand side right here, you'll see an on and off switch. That is the electric side of the water heater. And then when you, uh, when we get to the inside, I'll show you the gas switch there. Does have your outside shower, does have your hot and cold. And you'll notice also on the slide outs, it does have your window on the uh, end wall of your slide out. So that feature is nice as well. Moving on up on the front side of the slide out here, we do have your hookup center here. This would be your city water connection. So this is where you connect your uh, water hose at a campground. You have your cable and satellite hookups here as well. And then right here in the front would be your freshwater fill. Uh, this is if you do dry camping, you can fill your freshwater tank through this port, turn on your water pump switch, which I'll show you later on the inside, and then you're ready for your dry camping trip. This again is just your pass-through storage compartment door on the opposing side. And one more thing I'd like to point out, these are all aluminum construction units, um, and there is a difference between manufacturers. Some call theirs aluminum construction uh, by framing in just the outside of the wall, but Surveyor does a very good job as far as uh, around every opening, around every window, every compartment door, any opening you have, they fill that in as well where a lot of people don't. So Surveyor does a, a very good job at uh, quality uh, that's hidden inside that you can't see. So. Uh, with that, that, is, uh, that concludes the outside of the 251 RKS, and now we'll move to the inside. Now moving to the inside, we do have your kitchen towards the back, your dinette in the slide out, have your entertainment center there, the, your bathroom door, pantry, and sofa right inside the door. And we will start... On the inside of your entrance door in the back would be your refrigerator so you can easily get to that if you happen to stop at a rest area or gas station and you want to buy something stick it in the fridge it's right inside the entrance door which is very nice easy accessible and this is an eight cubic foot refrigerator so you have your separate freezer compartment at the top this is gas and electric You do have your uh, three burner drop-in cooktop along with your oven at the bottom. This does have a bifold cover right here that folds back and serves as a splash guard. That is a three burner. You do have a drawer down below the oven. You have a bank of three drawers over here and some small storage in that cabinet door right there. Matter of fact, I'll just show you real quick because that can be uh, deceiving by the cabinet door so you do have the one storage there the other one is access um, to get to your plumbing and things down there do have your what they call solid surface countertop so you don't have any seams right here and you do have a sink cover that is removable this is a double stainless steel sink and it does have in the sink cover places where you can stick your plates or whatever to dry there so that's nice. You do have a high rise pull out kitchen faucet and in the overhead cabinets you have your microwave and lots of overhead cabinet space there. Alright swinging over to the slide out area this is your dinette this is a booth style dinette you do have the collapsible table um, if you look at the pictures on our website, that does go down and you use the back cushions to fill in the empty space. So it does give you more sleeping room if you do need that. You'll also notice that at each dinette seat does have a pull-out drawer. And also in the slide-out area, uh, there are overhead cabinets as well. And you'll notice throughout the Surveyor product, any overhead cabinet that you have, does have the um, strut to hold the door open for you. Moving on over to the entertainment center, you do have some cabinet space at the bottom. You have a sound bar right here. That is where your stereo 
uh, player is. Uh, you have the auxiliary port, USB port that is Bluetooth compatible. You'll also notice there's an A, B, C, D zone right here for your speakers. So you, that would be the uh, sound bar. Uh, and then I think you have your bedroom, uh, living area here, and then outside. Does come with your TV, overhead cabinet storage there, your bathroom door that we'll get to a little bit. Right here is a pantry. You have two drawers at the bottom, a mirrored pantry door, and this does have your adjustable shelving in there. And then across from the dinette would be a sofa with overhead cabinets above that. So a lot of nice storage here. This is a jackknife sofa. Again, if you look at the pictures on our website, that does lay down for sleeping area as well. At the end of the overhead cabinets is your uh, control panel. These are your switches for your awning, your slide out, and your interior exterior lighting. This also has what they call the King Jack antenna for your TV. All right, we will move now into the bathroom area. Before we get there, this will be your touch screen thermostat for your furnace and your air conditioner. We have your vanity in the bathroom, along with a medicine cabinet, a corner stand-up corner shower here. This does have a skylight above it. Uh, right inside here by your vanity is your monitor panel. This is where you check your black, gray, uh, freshwater tank levels, your battery level, and then you would have your water pump switch right here. This is when you do dry camping. You fill your fresh water tank, turn on your water pump switch, and you're ready to go. And then your water heater switch for your gas side would be over here. So that is where you turn on the gas side of your water heater on. And then you would also have to open your LP bottles on the front, obviously, for the LP to come through for that. Moving on, this is a pass-through bathroom. So you have a toilet over here. A lot of nice leg room there. You have a wardrobe with a drawer at the base of it. A lot of nice storage there. Again, it's just very open on the one side with a closet rod. And the other side has a closet rod as well uh, as shelves that are adjustable. Moving on through the bathroom into the bedroom area. This is a queen bed. You do have the wardrobe with overhead cabinets on each side. And you do have the bed on gas struts that holds that open for you. Um, you do have a lot of nice storage under there as well as a receptacle on each side. And then you also have a compartment um, underneath at the head of the bed on each side as well and I believe there's a receptacle in there as well for you. You do have your night light uh, underneath the overhead cabinets here. Um, you can turn these to white, off, or blue. Again the overhead cabinets like I mentioned earlier all have the props to hold your cabinet door open. And then you have in the far corner, the connections there in the ceiling are for a TV. So you do have a TV backer on this wall if you'd like to add a TV in the bedroom area. And then just the place down here to kick off your sandals, shoes, whatever. Just a little cubby down there for storage. I believe that covers the inside of the 251 RKS. I will do one more brief walkthrough for you. And we are the Outpost RV. You can contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. And again, my name is Phelan, and thank you for watching.